It is just invite me to be a speaker and I've already heard about it and so there was an invitation through email and yeah, of course, I just said it, yeah. So what was the topic of your speech? What did you tell the audience? My topic was, it's, it was about uh, the role of social media intelligence uh, in counter-radicalization and counter-terrorism, mostly on counter-terrorism. So uh, the topic was uh, um, to understand the, how global jihadism use uh, social network and social media to spread uh, their word, to spread their, to spread their propaganda, and how social media uh, work as an external and eternal communication uh, for, for global jihadism. And the role, of course, of social media intelligence to tackle, uh, to tackle them. Yeah. And in this context, what do you see as the greatest threat? Uh, the threat is the impossibility uh, to deal with that kind of vehicle to spread information. So um, they know about their importance, the importance of their message. They know that they need a vehicle uh, uh, to spread in the best way their message. And they know that it's impossible uh, uh, to uh, cut that kind of communication. So what? What should we do uh, to create tactics of intelligence, specifically in media, in social media, to tackle them and to avoid them? So, but we need to cooperate. We need to work in network, and definitely we need to create counter, also counter narrative uh, to avoid, for one side, radicalization and uh, the recruitment, and from another perspective, we need to create avatars to. Uh, just recollect information or strategic information to avoid possible attacks or even to avoid certain types of operationality. And uh, how would you design those avatars? It's, 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 not, it's not a difficult thing, you just create a character and you just uh, uh, gain trust in their own social, uh, social network and you just step by step uh, gain their confidence and you just are one of them. So you're one of them here at the conference. What are the sessions that are <laughs> interesting most to you this afternoon? Uh, the one concerned with social media, uh, the one concerned with cybercrime and digitalization of crime, and uh, the one concerned also with GDPR. Yeah, that's a topic that we've heard yeah. very often today. So what's, uh, what's most important about GDPR for, let's say, the layman out there, not the uh, experts that are here at the conference, but the layman? Now, the GDPR is also a tool, a European tool, or a European tool, or a, a tool that was adopted by the European Union mostly to uh, uh, avoid uh, vulnerability, vulnerability of privacy, and most of all, it's a way of, uh, besides the states and the governments, from privates to work and to avoid certain attacks, for instance, from different states like Russia or China. Uh, and so it's a way to uh, send and to obligate all citizens and most of it companies to close uh, their data because data it's, uh, it's a sort of a, a natural resource, a crucial resource uh, uh, that uh, it's fundamental in a, certain, in a certain type of cyber warfare. So, um, have you been able to see some parts of Riga yet? Uh, yes, yes. Actually, it's my second time here in Riga, but I would like to... My, my flight, it's only Saturday morning, so I will see us tomorrow, uh, the day of tomorrow, to, um, to see the things that I didn't see the first time I was here. Uh, what would you recommend to people who have not been to the conference to make them come here maybe next year? It's probably one of the most updated conferences on cybersecurity and the networking, of course, and the experts that are uh, here for the talks. Thank you very much. Okay. Enjoy the conference. Thank you. Thank you.